everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by, welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a stinking cute paper crafting DIY that you are absolutely gonna love and it is so easy to do. Today's paper crafting DIY, I'm gonna be showing you the cutest way to package. Yep, I'm holding Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs are just, they're a breath mint, okay. But you know what? They're so inexpensive and they're so budget friendly and when you package them the way I'm packaging them, wait for it, like this. Oh my goodness, tell me that is not so stinking cute and it makes for such a fun gift to give. This is just the small container of Tic Tacs. I'm also bringing to you, hold on a second again. Oh my word, seriously, would you look at how stinking cute this is. This is the larger Tic Tac and it looks like a book. And this here is also a larger one in the Coca-Cola flavor. Allie really loves the Coca-Cola Tic Tacs. And so she asked me to make her one and this is the one that I made for her. It really does make gifting Tic Tacs something so fun and so stinking cute that whoever receives it, they are absolutely gonna love it and think it's the cutest gosh darn it thing that they've ever seen. I just thought it was so fun to make a matching set of the smaller and the larger. I can't wait to show you how easy this is gonna be because it's gonna take you maybe 10 minutes to do and look at this outcome. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to paper crafting on a budget. Before we jump into this, I really, you know, wanna show you that paper crafting doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to buy a bunch of the fancy tools the kits, the paper, the stamps, the ink, in order to paper craft to get the same amazing, adorable outcome that I'm getting here using just basic items from Michaels and the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has an amazing assortment and selection of stickers that I love to go through when I'm there because they make for great embellishments for something like this. I mean, really, who'd have thought for a dollar, I got about eight monkeys on a sheet and I used two of them here and I still have six left to do more with. And so I think that uh, you can very easily do paper crafting on a budget for I'd say under $20. And I wanna show you just some of the items that you can use that aren't some of the fancier tools that you can get the same outcome with using. These here are the items, if you can get your hands on them, is all you're gonna need. For adhesive, I like to use a Lean's Tacky Glue. This is a glue that a lot of people use. You can use this gold bottle or the clear gel. Either one is fine when it comes to paper crafting. Another adhesive that you're gonna wanna use is this double-sided tape. This is great when paper crafting. It kind of moves the project along a bit quicker than with glue. The advantage to glue is you have some wiggle room to move your project around or your paper around before it completely dries. Dollar Tree's also got this three pack of pop-up dot tape. It comes in three different widths, three different sizes, and for a dollar, this is great. Some of the tools that I think are really important to keep your eye open for is this piercing and scoring and this embossing. This embossing works just as well for scoring as this tool here. I like this tool because this end, I feel like not only is it good for scoring, but it's really good to use it as a bone folder. A clear ruler is a must. I really truly believe that the clear ruler is the best route to go because you can see through it. And so this one here by Jot is one of my favorites. I use it often. The scrap utility set is another great tool to pick up. Works great for cutting the centers out of paper when you can't use your scissors. And again, these small detailing scissors are great for just cutting notches. And I also saw that Dollar Tree had these cute little 
adhesive roller dispensers as well. Not too much comes on these, but I think it comes in a three pack or a two pack. And so these are a great easy way to, uh, oh, I had it upside down, to add an adhesive to your paper craft. And so if you buy a few packs of these, it'll make dispensing the adhesive a lot easier because you don't have to remove the paper. Our budget might be a little tight, the holidays are coming, and if you're like me, I've said this before, you like to give a gift around the holidays. And gifting something like this, you're gonna buy Tic Tacs for a dollar or two, you're gonna buy some paper, and you're gonna be able to gift things to people and feel good about what you're gifting. In most of my paper crafting projects, I start off with a solid cardstock as my base because as you can see, using a base, you can take some decorative paper and just with very small pieces, you can accent it, you can add color, it's easy for embellishments and so how fun is that? For your solid cardstock, you're gonna need a piece that measures out at four and a half inches by three inches, seven and three quarter inches long by three quarter inches wide, and you're gonna need one that is one and five eighths long by a half an inch wide. I'm using my Martha Stewart scoring board because again, this is one that I've had for, I have to say, at least 15 years. I get asked often about a cutter and a scoring board. This is one by We Are Memory Keepers that I picked up on Amazon. It goes anywhere from 12 to $15 for whatever reason. The website that it's coming from or the seller that it's coming from, the price fluctuates day to day, which is different to me. I've never seen that. When this board opens up, it opens up to a full 12 by 12 scoring board, which is awesome. It comes with the bone folder and you've got a cutter. So with this piece here, we're gonna score at two inches and two and five eighths, which is one, two, three, four, five eighths right here, which is the line before two and three quarters. And that is all the scoring that needs to be done on this piece. If you have a corner rounder, you can round your corners. You can find these corner rounders on Amazon, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. They're a very inexpensive Tool and I think that they just add just some softness to a paper crafting project. We're gonna go ahead and fold in our lines here. And there we've already got our book. For the cover of the book here on top, I've cut out two pieces that measure out at two and three quarters by one and five eighths. I'm gonna take my corner rounder, since I've already used it, I'm gonna round only two corners here. If you're making a bunch of these for gifts, it's gonna go so quickly, and the outcome really is just so stinking cute. I'm gonna hit the back of these with some adhesive. This is a dispenser by Scotch. You can find this at Michael's. If you pick one up, you wanna use a coupon and you're gonna get it for 50% off. I'm gonna add my pieces to my cover here, just like so. Look at how that just adds so much to it. And we can't forget about the binding here. And for the binding, you're gonna cut a piece that is two and three quarters long by a half an inch wide. This is the seven and three quarter inch long strip by three quarter inches wide. And this is gonna go right around our Tic Tac bottle. Now for this, I'm not gonna measure and score. I'm just gonna place it on the top of my Tic Tac bottle centering it, and I'm just gonna fold it over, just like so. And I'm gonna do that on both sides and really just rub those edges. 
Then I'm gonna fold this over and just place just a bit of adhesive here to hold that in place. So when we put our Tic Tac bottle back, There we go. And we've got our strap. For this piece, it's 5 eighths wide by 2 and 3 quarter inches long. Now for this little strap here, we do need to score this because this is our closing strap. We're going to score this at 1 half. and at one and one eighth, which is the line right after the one. So you've got a piece just like so. I'm gonna place some adhesive on one end here, and on one side, I'm gonna place it right in the center. Now we're gonna take the Tic Tacs, we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna place some adhesive here. And then we are just going to center this right there. We can go ahead and take our closer, fold it up over, and I like to use Dollar Tree's adhesive dots because they're really not permanent and it makes opening and closing this easier if you wanted to use a piece of Velcro from the Velcro dots at the Dollar Tree, just kind of cut them up and make them a bit smaller, you could do that. And then when you close this up, there you go, we've just closed up our box. Now all that's left to do is to embellish this. And like I said, these are the monkey stickers by Crafter Square. How adorable are these? I had used the barrel one. I bought several of these because I just thought these were so cute. And I figured I'd probably want to do this exact set for a lot of people. And so I wanted to have more stickers on hand. And so I think for this one, these are a bit big. I might go with this cute little fella. Or should I go with him? No, I think I will go with this one. Oh yeah, that's adorable. How fun is that? That barrel one was the perfect size, but these are fun too. And that is all there is to this. Look at how stinking cute that is. Isn't that just adorable? It was quick, easy. Honestly, it probably, if I wasn't doing this video, takes less than five minutes to do. And so you can make a lot of these and gift them out and it's not gonna cost you much money at all. And you're gonna enjoy doing it. Now for this larger size, let me show you the measurements for these. You're gonna need a solid piece of cardstock for the book itself that measures out at four inches by six and three quarters. Our closing strap is gonna measure out at one inches wide by three inches long. And for the strap that goes around the Tic Tacs, because I'm running out of paper, the yellow cardstock, and I didn't wanna cut another piece, I had plenty of the yellow gingham left. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and this measures out at one inch wide by 12 inches long, so the full length of your paper. For the book, we're gonna score at two and five eighths, which is two, one, two, three, four, five. One line after a half is five eighths, and four and one eighth, which is one line after the four. I'm gonna go ahead and round my corners, and this is just put together the same way. These are just the measurements that I'm giving you if you wanna use the larger Tic Tac bottle that has 200 um, Tic Tacs in it. For the pattern paper, these measure out at three and three quarters long by two and three eighths wide. And so you're gonna need two of those. 
And with these, again, we're gonna just round two of the corners if you've rounded your corners on the book box itself. For the binding here, this piece measures out at three and three quarters long by one and a quarter wide. For the closing strap, we're gonna score at three fourths of an inch. And two and three eighths. And that's our closing strap. We're gonna attach the closing strap here. Right in the center. And the strap that goes around our bottle here. And this may need to be trimmed up. so you can slide your Tic Tacs in and out. Okay, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this. We're gonna center this. I'm gonna use two adhesive dots on this one since the strap is a bit bigger. And I think that I'm gonna go with this one here. So cute. And I think I might just add this cute banana. No, I'm gonna add the apple since this cute little fella has an apple in his hand. I could add the banana. No, that's way too much. That's cute just the way it is. Would you look at how stinking cute that is? And there we have two adorable boxes, book boxes that we've made for, who would have guessed Tic Tacs, making gifting these so much fun. Now tell me that is not such a cute and fun idea, super easy to do, budget friendly because paper is so inexpensive and Dollar Tree has amazing stickers. You get so many of them on a sheet for a dollar. I love going through their stickers and really just picking out some of the newer ones because they're amazing for paper crafting. I hope you all enjoyed today's paper crafting DIY of these Tic Tacs. If you all wanna see more of these easy to do paper crafting DIYs using simple things, I've got one for EOS chapsticks. That is so stinking cute. Make sure to leave me a comment in the comments below and I will do more because I go off of your feedback. Who doesn't love EOS chapsticks? And it is such a cute way to package and gift them. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy paper crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.